In this video, we're going to take a look at five clubs within Mexico where you can go and pick yourself up some relatively cheap and potential wonder kids. We are kicking things off with CF Monterey, who have produced no more than eight players with 130 potential or higher, and a couple of players as well who are pushing the 150s. In the centre of midfield, we have 18-year-old Oscar Rubio, who has 136 potential ability. 18 years of age, he looks pretty decent already. With 139 potential ability, we have Sergio Cruz, a centre-back. Again, looks pretty good. Six foot four, big lad in defence. The first of two players with 145 potential or above is Fernando Casas, 19 years of age, attacking midfielder, already getting some game times now playing for Monterrey. And with two more potential higher at 147 is Jose Gonzalez, the 19-year-old striker. He looks very good and at potentially only a maximum of 6.2 million pounds, he's worth a shot. The best player, however, to come out of Monterrey's youth intakes is Diego Quintero. At 18 years of age, he has 157 potential, worth 3.6 to 11 million pounds. A very good right winger by the looks of it. He can play in the center, although arguably you wouldn't want him to do that. He is wanted by PSG. That kind of shows that he's going to be a good little footballer. Next up, we have Santos Laguna, who have produced no less than 12 players with 130 potential or higher. So let's take a look. At the low end of the scale with 131 potential, we have Gabriel Portillo or Portillo. He is a left winger striker. Actually looks pretty decent, worth 1.4 to 4.2 million pounds already. They've also got themselves a part Jamaican Mexican called Hugh Murray with 132 potential. I quite like the look of him. With 136 potential ability, Alberto Freitas is a potentially very good centre back. Left back, he's six foot four. Don't kid yourself, mate, you're a centre back. They've also got two players with 138 potential that have come through their youth and take. Francisco was the first one, a Brazilian and part Mexican left winger. I quite like the look of him, although at 19 years of age, he's got a lot of work to do to kind of get good enough to play football. They also have themselves a goalkeeper with 138 potential, which is Juan Gamboa. Again, I like the look of him. I know he's not amazing, but for a 17 year old goalkeeper, he's got the, some stats and some very good places like the handling, reflexes, things like that. The pick of the bunch, however, with 141 potential is Jesus Lopez, who has already moved over to Pachuca. I think he's literally only just moved over to Pachuca as well for 575 pounds, 575,000 pounds. That makes a lot more sense. 18 years of age he doesn't look particularly amazing at the moment but obviously we know his potential is going to be relatively high so he's going to be obviously a good footballer we're moving over now to take a look at cd atlas who have produced no more than 11 players with 130 potential or higher and a total of four players with potential of 140 to 150 as well with 133 potential ability we have tae min kim a mexican and south korean who looks very good for 17 years of age I think he looks really good, doesn't he? Brayton Alonso is a player who has already moved on to Santos Laguna. He has 137 potential ability, 20 years of age Mexican, obviously very, very good. I think he's actually quite close to his maximum ability as well. The first of four players with 140 potential or higher is Diego Alonso Gamboa with 143 potential ability. He's good enough to play first team football for this Atlas side, I think. And at 144 potential, we have Carlos Afonso Alfaro, who is also good enough to play for this Atlas side so far he's only played six times most of them off the bench as well but he looks pretty good although can't finish so maybe he's not a striker more of an attacker midfielder Miguel Guzman has 145 potential he's literally just come through the last youth intake so doesn't look very good at the moment but there is a lot of potential there trust me and finally at 146 potential we have Gilberto Eric Degolaldo maybe could be his name he's very fast and very angry for a left back but He's playing first team football, 29 appearances already, a goal to his name from left back as well, and in the Mexico under 23 side. In addition to the players with 130 potential or higher, Atlas actually managed to produce another 11 players with 120 to 129 potential ability. Tim Morris being one of them playing, I say playing, being an American as well, American part Mexican, I think he's got 126 potential. If you're looking for very good Mexican footballers, you'd be a fool to just ignore CF America. They are one of the best teams in Mexico. They produce very, very good, youth players year on year so let's take a look at how well they've done in this save one of six players with 130 to 140 potential is wilson jasso jasso he's got 135 potential ability at 15 years of age but this time in this save america have produced a lot of players with 140 or above no less than three players have 144 potential ability marcial vitz is one of them diego lopez is another one and arturo alvado is another one of those as well so three players with 144 potential but we are not even close to getting to the big 
big dogs. Five players have 150 potential to 160 potential. Nesta Moreno is one at 151 potential. Christian Jimenez has 152 potential. Miguel Hernandez also has 152 potential. At 155 potential, Jesus Alberto Saavedra might be his name. He has come through. He looks very good. For 17 years of age, he looks ridiculous to me. And Edgar Villasenor is very ridiculous. He's got 158 potential and his current ability is 150 already. The fact that he's still playing in Mexico is just mad to me. And the fact that he has not got any caps for Mexico as well is even madder. But the highest potential is actually Norberto Salas with 162 potential ability. He is top of the pile. His current ability as well is 130. He's already wanted. Let's guess at PSG. It's probably going to be PSG. They're on there. So are Manchester City. So America will always produce stupid amounts of very good footballers. A total of 25 players if you go all the way down to 120 potential or higher. Yusuf Salman being one of them. He's Mexican and part Libyan. Whenever I see CD Guadalajara or Chivas, I always think of Chivas USA, the weird failed MLS team that Chivas did. I'm not quite sure all the, all the kind of things that took a place about that. But anyway, we have Chivas who will, much like America, produce some very, very good footballers year on year. From a quantity perspective, Chivas did not produce anywhere near as many as America but they did manage to produce some very very good players. Four players have 130 potential to 140. Alvaro Ramirez is one of them with 133. I think his current ability is about 120 as well. We've also got Luis Alfonso Loreto who has 139 potential ability playing first team football for Chivas. Spent the season out on loan as well somewhere by the looks of it. At 147 potential Eustachio Duran is a 17 year old centre back, right back and right midfielder apparently. He is the third best player to come through the Chivas youth intakes in this simulation. There are five seasons I've done. He is number three. We've still got two, two more players who've got 150 or above potential. At 159, Luis Ernesto Gudinho is 15 years of age, worth 2.1 to 6.2 million pounds already. As a striker, you see somebody with finishing a 15, I automatically go, there's something there, right? And then you check his value and go, there's definitely something there. 15 years of age, he's already pretty decent. Obviously, he's not going to be playing first-team football, but check his value, check his age, check the values of the players around him in the squad. You know that he's going to get good. And the best of the best in this entire Mexico save is Luis Herrera, 19 years of age, left back. He's wanted by PSG and Man City and Liverpool and Arsenal, apparently. 177 potential ability for Herrera. Already looks pretty decent. Still surprised that he does not have any Mexico caps. I know Mexico will have some very good players, but he's good, right? He's not a terrible footballer. He should at least be in the squad there or thereabouts. Maybe Mexico is not the nation for you. Maybe you want to be looking somewhere in Europe. So how about this video on screen, which takes a look at the best clubs or some of the best clubs from Romania to be able to buy some decent young players from.